Hey, there we go. Camera is working. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm looking for my camera. I forgot to put it on the other side. Um, okay, wow, that camera is way too high now. Let's see if we can fix that. That'll do. Uh, now, I've been trying to get my bot working. It's not working. So I've got no other flight plan stuff or anything on there. We do have a F-35 and a Harrier come to join us. Uh, not sure where Icarus is. He said he's coming in the twin seater as well. But we are at Barra. Barra is a beach airport. I figured, you know what, something different, completely different. The guys with their uh, vertical takeoff is probably a good idea. Um, let's try this bot again. See if we can actually get you connected now. I might have pressed it too early. But are you going to review this scrapyard monster? Yes, I've been delaying it. Um, sorry. I've been doing lots of other things behind the scenes as well. Um, but yeah, I might give it a go this afternoon. I have downloaded it. I've also downloaded the James Bond gyrocopter. Um, and it's had three updates since I actually downloaded it. Uh, it was a real bugger to get going though. Um, like really difficult to start it up. I think somebody spawned on the same spot I am. I can see, I don't know, it's a sunlight shadow, never mind. Um, but Michael, let's get back to here, let's try and get my bot working. All right, that seemed to actually pop up some stuff. So let's try this server again. Uh, good morning, I'm Michael from Canberra. G'day, TPH, I saw you over in Gaming Wombat, but I see you here as well, thank you. I let the pigeons loose, says Icarus. I'm guessing he's spawned in the same spot. Uh, stuck on the loading screen. Okay, no, all right, he's stuck on the loading screen. He'll be here in a moment. I come join, but I'm doing laundry. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to do the laundry. Uh, TJ says, G'day. Dale, is the Grumman F7F Tiger Cat available? Wow, that's uh, a mean one. Hi, Brett, Icarus. Um, F7F Tiger Cat, yeah. Uh, I, I did a um, a review on that, didn't I? And that's a carrier based one. F7F. Hang on. Uh, is it under Tiger? Is it Tiger Cat? The Panther one, or whatever, whatever it was. Um, now you got me. Blowhead says, "Hey, Brett, you well? I am. I am. I'm on uh, food prep for my operation tomorrow, surgery tomorrow." Uh, Feel the river says, "G'day." I saw you in, in the. Let's put uh, name tags back on. Saw you in the Harrier there, doing a little bit of takeoff and stuff. Very good. All right. Uh, wind's about the same as it was yesterday, so I've got to take off in that direction. Let's get this thing and get up and going. If I had a jet engine in my twin Navion, I would join because I can fly that. Um, the Cessna T37 has a jet engine, and it's really nice. Uh, I would highly recommend that too. Um, I have flown that as well. You know what, I'm going to go without music uh, at the moment, so that actual music's annoying me today. Uh, now, I've got to remember how to start this. Alright, so we want uh, fuel cock, low pressure, high pressure. Uh, we need port booster, starboard booster. Uh, we need hide the flight stick so I can actually get to the thank you battery master I'm gonna put the pedo heat on starter master on open cover uh, am I forgetting anything else uh, beacon lights all right stand clear all right we're good to go pilots are in very good. I'm going to change my payload down to zero. 
tanks. I don't want the tanks because I'm going to try doing some carrier landing. We may uh, add extra later. Hey, Mr. Pound. Would uh, soup one up for you? <laughs> you could actually, yeah, you could modify the twin Navion to have jet power performance. Uh, but there's actually one called the Super Navion for that probably uh, particular reason. Alright, let's get the canopy down. There's TJ. What is TJ in? Oh, he's in something I don't have. Wait, what? Uh, we got everything else good to go. The Harley light switch doesn't seem to work, but I think that's meant to be my landing lights. So, I needed to turn it on prior. Alright, I've got all my other lights on. I probably don't actually need those. Where are they? Uh, I don't need the co pilot's gun side on, but I will take mine on. So let's. Uh, here. Yep, good, alright. Everything else is good to go. I think let's put our flight stick back in its slot. Cover the starter. Alright, uh. Yeah, it actually looks like it's good to go. Alright, come on, throttle, thank you. Oh, did I just kill them? I did too. What did I do? I closed the starter cover. I thought you could close the start a cover there. Okay, maybe you can't. I don't know what I did. Eyes on, yes. Throttle. Let's take one percent, thank you. RPMs are coming up. Going down. Whoa, what have I done? What have I not done? Fuel pump is on. Yes. I've done something wrong here and I can't remember what it is. On, on, don't need the camera. Okay, I keep cutting it, I don't know what I've done. Uh, that would be cool to probably hard if I'm on Xbox. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Twin can do a lot, but I can't compete with a jet. Look, I'm, yeah, you're not going to be able to keep up in the Twin, I'll tell you what, because I will be getting to probably about Mark 7, uh, 0.7. Generators. My generators are off. What do you mean generators are off? Hang on. No, we've got our fuel set up. I'm missing something. What have I missed? One, two. Uh, gun sight don't need. Yep. On, on. Make sure that they're on. Maybe because I had the throttle all the way to zero? I don't know, I've never had this problem before. Alright, it seems to be working now. Oh 
Oh yeah, took my park brake off. All right, show flight stick. Don't turn off anything. All right, we good. Are we good? We good. <laughs> yeah, all right, we good. Strike Eagle, mate. You're gonna have trouble. Aircraft carrier landing. Which reminds me, I need a program open. I miss the water there. Did that even open? Yeah, it did. Where to go? Where did it go? Over there. All right, we'll enable that. For our arrestor hooks. All right, we're going to land on some carriers today. All right, now there's three runways here, and I think I'm at right on the very end of one, sitting here. You, you can't see them, really. There's the Icarus. All right, I'm in the wind, am I? Where's the wind sock? There it is. All right. To be honest, I'd rather go a little bit more left here. <laughs> a little bit lower on the land there. Beach takeoff, eh? Beach takeoff. Yeah, I don't know if they ever did this. Oh, my trim is set. Thank you. Wow, the beach actually rises up and down there. And we are up and only just. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, we'll do a little bit of a loop, get everybody else here. Um, and I'll get into the comments again. Uh, where is this jet from? This is from the UK. So this is British. 100% uh, 60s, I think. And the two-seater's a trainer. Hey, Mrs. TPH. Thank you very much. I'm going to get that lightsaber sound go for a bit. I'll actually uh, loop here so that you guys can... Uh, Get in the air. I think everybody's up. Chris is following. Oh, you know what? All right, I'm going to try my nav. I'm on autopilot now. I'm on altitude hold. And, uh, Mr. TPH, thank you very much. You guys rock. I was going to jump in and make some other sounds there. Put some music back on. Alright, we got our lights on. We probably don't need the... Uh, red ones. But uh, for the TPHs... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. Love you. Grogu gives you love hearts as well. Thank you very much. Uh, now, who else have I missed there? I've uh, probably missed a few. So we're going to head out to the aircraft carriers first. I'm going to have a bit of a play. I did link them. Uh, das Auto says, a good evening, folks. Uh, Aaron says, hi all. How is everything? Everything is doing pretty good at the moment. I got up early because I'm not allowed to eat after 8 o'clock. Uh, it's now 9.18. Uh, I'm also not allowed any more coffee with milk. So I've got to go black coffee uh, between now and tomorrow. Uh, love this plane, I'll catch up, uh, I'll crash into Icarus, oh, I just crashed into Icarus, oops. This is TPA says, hi everyone, hello. British Jet, you, s you feel safe flying it? Um, well, considering the uh, Americans are still flying uh, British made Harriers, well, not British made, but uh, British designed Harriers, when they came out in the 50s, they, they make some pretty good stuff. Um, uh, English aircraft, some pretty good aircraft, to be honest.
they fly for a long time. Although, so do uh, US ones, like the B-52s have been up in the sky for a long time. All right, I'm just going to back this off to closer to 0.7. Uh, now, my autopilot's just trying to get on that line, so it's going to wiggle back and forth a bit. The Hunter is a 50s vintage, very old, yes, very old. Uh, us colonials love the Brits. <laughs> Um, I mean, Spitfire, hello, need I say more? I mean, what's more iconic than a Spitfire? Alright, so the guys with the uh, vertical landing and takeoff should do alright, but um, Equest, mate, did you grab a Navy version or a Air Force version of the Hunter? Do you have your tail hook available? So this is this thing down here. Do you actually have a tail hook? Because uh, some of these versions in this pack, and this is all freeware aircraft, this is awesome. Um, they don't actually have the tail hook. Not that it works, I mean you can use the same uh, thing I'm going to use to land anyway. Before we get out to stand us, uh, yeah, look, P-51's probably as iconic as a Spitfire, to be honest, in my books. Um, two of my favourite. That and the Corsair. F4, U, or whatever it is. The British made Concorde, enough said. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that, that worked for a long time too. Uh, and was used from way back. Navy, tail hook already extended. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. I, I, I know that there's different versions. Uh, I've got the one with the uh, narwhal type looking horn on it. I'm not sure what that's meant to be. Some sort of sensor? I'm guessing. All right, here we go. First Navy I wanted to come and land at. What I'll try and do is, uh, what have we got, attempts for, uh, yep. Alright, I'm going to attempt a landing on the, oops, go there, Queen Elizabeth, which is the double uh, conning tower, whatever they're called, uh, aircraft carrier there to my left. There are some... Italian ones here as well. Alright, AP off. We'll do a quick flyover, a loop around, and coming on, on the uh, deck. So, that's my British one there. I'm going to land uh, coming in this direction, so from out here. Uh, I'm not sure what the one next to it is, like who it is. Hmm. I know that one of these is an Italian one. I think it's that one over there. It kind of looks like an American one. Can't see what number it was. Alright. Oh, oh, come on. Button. That button keeps jumping twice. No, I don't want to go that way. That's that's out to storm away. We're not going to go there yet. I'll press that button instead. If you haven't got the aircraft carrier pack, I did put links in the description. Uh, for those who don't have it, if not, um, feel free to do a bit of a circle and uh, make your way over to Stornway or just wait, I'll be there soon. I'm just going to do a quick land catapult. We've got three, I think, aircraft carrier packs to land on. There's one in the Irish and there's a Welsh one, coastline. I 
music stopped. Let's see if I can get that going. What happened there? Oh, I lowered the sound, that's why, okay. Huh, this music called Albatross. That'll work. Too steep. Too busy playing with music. Oh, there is a crosswind. Oh my god, there's a crosswind. Yes, I love it. All right, there are a couple of uh, F-35s on here. I put the park on. My, yep, yeah, okay, it's already pulled up. Uh, has anybody else got these aircraft carriers? So we're on the Queen Elizabeth class, are we? Right, you think I can turn around here? I think I would be able to. There was a huge crosswind on this, they could at least put it into the wind. I'm going to take one flat level. This is the Elizabeth, is it? I think so. I reckon I can get from here. What do you reckon? Alright, let's put the park on. Let's go catapult. Take off speed, I'm going to have to go higher. Uh, Alright. Get my view ready. Okay. Full throttle. Thank you. Whoa! -hey. Oh, there we go. God, that gets going. Igris has got. Uh, oh, he's coming in from landing. All right, I got to check this. Crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so busy trying to uh, move the cameras to see uh, Icarus land it. Uh, he's bounced and it looks like he's going to keep going. Good luck with the keep going. If you've got it full power, you'd be good. Yeah, no, you're good. I, uh, I tried it without the uh, arrestor hook and oh my god, I ended up in the drink. All right. And have a look at uh, this other carrier and then we'll do a quick loop off to Stormway and get our move on. It doesn't have a number. Oh, it does. It's yellow. I can't see it. Alright, let's go and uh, make our way back. Uh, let's see how well this autopilot works. It's going to do the job. Alright. Right, fly plan. So we are out in the oh, uh, Hebrides, I think it is. So this is the aircraft carrier, the Hebrides. We're going to head up to Stornway, going to make our way up on over the uh, island there. We can do a quick touch and go or land, depending on what you guys want to do. But uh, yes, all right. <clears throat> what I miss. Uh, that's what it says, uh, P-51 had Packard Merlins, that's a Spitfire engine, originally, yes. Did they continue using that? Gazza, mate, hi, Brett and all. Uh, I have the carriers, but not these ones. Right, there's a Pack 2, um, that were included, I'll put a, a link in the description. You should be able to see that. 
Uh, any of these um, aircraft carriers in the sim highly detailed, for example, the textures, nuts, bolts, etc. So it doesn't look sort of cardboard looking like the ones uh, you just took off from. Yes, look, some of them are better detailed than others. This might have been extra add-on stuff. I don't think they necessarily look cardboard looking, but I know what you mean. Are the actual rivets uh, modeled? The more you do that, the more you add in, the more it's going to be a frame rate hit or a, um, a larger file. So my guess is a lot of these are 3D models that have been purchased by the developer, uh, you can, or even get off for free, you can buy them on 3D models um, websites, and then what they do is they put the assets together and put them in the water. Hey Bruden, g'day mate, we're doing hunting. Uh, Hawker Hunter actually. Oh, we also got a 35 up there, shadowing us. And TJ is over there, I don't think TJ's taken off. It might still be a barra. Normally that's about where I'd finish. Alright, I can actually push this a little further. Or did we just just flew over a what did we just fly over? I didn't even see it. Some sort of uh, tanker. Yeah, so the more detail you put in there, um, TPHI, the, the bigger the files are going to be. They're, they're from 3D model sites. Um, there are some people put in uh, Godzilla and things like that in cities. They're just from 3D model sites. Um, there is a heli, car ca heli carrier from the Avengers. You can actually get and put that in as well. Uh, fly it over a city. You can actually land on it. Um, Buddy Spike, a guy that I've uh, done some videos with, uh, did that with 747s landing on the Halley Carrier. Um, it was a bit of fun. I have a feeling I might need to climb. What are we at? There we go, thank you. Redo the barrow. We're at 800. Can I climb by... Pressing my buttons, no, that's barometric pressure, no, we were at six, seven hundred, all right. Uh, how do I increase my altitude in here? I don't know. I don't know how to make the autopilot increase altitude by a couple of hundred feet. I can in my on my controls on many aircraft. I don't think oh we're at 500 feet. I don't think this one wants to. We'll go manual. We'll just reset it when we get up there. Um, <clears throat> Britain says I'm a, a fighter guy myself but I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Uh, I'm also old. <laughs> so is this. Yeah this is a 50s uh, genre. The uh, two-seater Hawker Hunter. Actually, the single-seater Hawker Hunter is uh, an old bird as well. Um, but I think the the developer of this one's done really well. Scrapyard. Oh, TJ's got the scrapyard. <gasps> I didn't put it in the sim yet, TJ, so it won't show up. Um, so you'll be racing around in your V12... Um, Aston Martin engined aircraft when I won't be able to see it. Uh, although I think he's having trouble starting it up. People were saying that last night on Ausflight's um, stream. I've yet to actually get into it and enjoy it. Alright, what's the best way into this island? I reckon we go... I reckon we go right here and we head up this... Uh, River Valley. Now, is that over the top of me? Oh, that's fine. 
might move it over so I can see more. Wind turbines there. Yeah, I can't uh, start at cold and dark. Yeah, uh, look, I'll give it a go, um, probably after, like this afternoon. Um, because I'm not going to be streaming for a few days, uh, admittedly I may not want to as well. I just figured I'll make some videos and have them come out. that off the screen. Well that freezes the plane, doesn't it? And then I can keep an eye on it. I don't want to go up the river there. I want to make a pull for that uh, saddle there in the hill. Getting pretty low. Beautiful area, this. Wow, it is not really a throw around aircraft. I might just need to back off 1.7 still. We're pretty good on the uh, flight path. Is that a Starlink connection? Yes, I am on Starlink. Are we we're doing all right today? I hope so. I haven't had any uh, issues. Like it hasn't uh, pinged me to say, hey, need to change some stuff. I am going to change to a different uh, streaming PC. I'm going to um, be able to up my resolution. Uh, I've got an Intel uh, A770, sorry, 750 uh, video card now in an old PC. And I'm gonna run everything through to that PC and then let it do it all the stuff to the internet and I'll just do everything else on my gaming PC. Very impressive, okay good. I'm make sure we don't hit any of these wind turbines. Looks great, okay good. Um, it looks even better in 4K I tell you. Um, I may or may not be able to do the streaming in 4K. I know, I did a test last week. Um, okay, now we're getting, oh, that was power lines. Uh, now we're getting close to town, it's slowing down. I'm getting a few skips there. I'd like to do a uh, land here as well. Look at where the airport is again. Oh, right in front of me. Let's put the paddle down. It'll automatically go up when I... Uh... Put my gear down. Sorry, I'm concentrating on... We're going to glide this one straight in on this runway here. Short runway, but this thing has like the biggest air brake type flaps. Look at this, it's almost a 90 degree angle. Wow, there's a lot of turbines. Surely they're not like that, are they? That close? Zoom out a bit. Thank you. 
Starlink's pretty good uh, for streaming, Gruden. It does have a fairly low um, millisecond uh, connection, usually around 40 or better. It was a bit of a crosswind. Icarus is coming from the other end. Alright, I'll get over. Very nice. Oh, he's got the blue and white. Oh, nice. Flaps uh, set no. Yeah, almost 90 degrees. Look at this. That is ridiculous. But hey, aircraft carrier uh, landing, so why not? Uh, let's get uh, out of the way for the F-15. Is he coming in for landing? Oh, 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 I don't see any gear down. I think he's just doing a... Uh, or maybe I just can't see his gear. Oh, he went long. Okay, he's down. Very good. TJ, mate, have you been able to get that thing started yet? Uh, can you control it yet? Uh, yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> hey, I said big degree. The flaps are 90. Yeah, it's like that, isn't it? Now, I'm just going to uh, run down here. I love how the front of uh, Icarus's Asian Navy version as well is slightly different to mine. Mine's got the pointy nose and the uh, narwhal horn. I reckon we've got enough power just to take off right here. That's a bit of a tailwind. Just saw in the news that a Cessna 560 Citation crashed in Virginia today. 560, is that the jet? Too bad, I, uh, I heard the sonic booms uh, when they scrambled jets uh, in DC. Oh, they've gone out just in case it was a deliberate thing, was it? You get the jets up in the air as quick as possible in case there's some other incident. Wow. I was flying through Washington DC airspace. Okay, tailwind's a little bit harder for the takeoff there. Another one. Let's see where the other guys are. I should have probably taken at least one level of flaps. Now we're heading that way, are we? It's interesting that all those um, turbines are so close to each other. They wouldn't be able to turn angle I would imagine without hitting it. I mean, maybe they're all synchronized. Alright, AP, nav, altitude, hold. Let's hold it there. Actually it's done quite well. I'm actually liking the um, uh, AP on this. Uh, the sonic booms, the guy was incapacitated. Uh, they followed the plane until it crashed. Oh no. So maybe oxygen, or did he pass it? What's a 560 citation? Citation is the jet, isn't it? Uh, he was flying through Washington DC airspace. They scrambled F-16 jets. The pilot was unresponsive, and then it crashed. Yeah, I heard the booms of the F-16s going over. Um, yo, wow. I mean, what are they going to do? Okay, if there's a incident happening okay i understand that but what are they going to do is if it's what turns towards the city do they shoot it down um did it crash on any buildings or did it crash into open field like what do they do i i, I know they escort it because if there is any um issue and at least they can get up there and they can try and radio or look inside or whatever but what do they do i mean if it's going for the CBD or like downtown city or they're heading for the Pentagon or anything like that, is that when they shoot it down? What do they do? Uh, Rudin, you've been close, I guess. Uh, you have lots of excitement over the years. 
Uh, that jet is a single pilot aircraft. Is it? Oh, look up a citation. 550. Sorry, 560. Yeah, single pilot version. 1984. Wow, hey. You know what? I've heard a couple of planes crash up in Queensland or uh, northern New South Wales and I always think, oh, I hope I was flight sim was okay. Because you, you're like, you're just waiting to hear who, who it was and you think, oh no, please mate, don't, don't uh, be involved. Especially when like the two aircraft hit each other or something like that. Um, shoot it down and hope that there's not too many casualties below. Um, yeah, but who's then responsible? Who's who's going to be held accountable for where it crashed? Uh, it's almost a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Um, because they're, they're very likely to uh, blame people if it took someone else's life out. It had four people on board. Wow, did they like not have oxygen or something? Oh, well, we don't know yet, I imagine. I fly in DC, uh, there is a FRZ flight restriction zone that is 30 mile radius, meaning you can't fly at all and they will shoot you down. There you go. Wow. Okay, my plane's on autopilot. Uh, we're coming into the mountains again. I'm going to go slightly this way and follow the river up or the uh, water up. Scotland now. Uh, we have CF-18 scramble from here uh, every once in a while because uh, we're sent off two nuclear power plants. Yeah, yeah, that... Uh, advise I'm guessing to uh, please divert your path or you will be shot down. It's also an SFRA special flight rules area. Uh, I should have the, com the comments over that side. Um, 60 mile radius. Oh, I flew out of the SFRA, um, had to ask permission and get permission to fly straight west. Right. I'm going to go around these mountains coming up. I'm going to look on the uh, flight plan, um, on the uh, flight path. We can actually head south of these through a gap, That's what it looks like. Not that gap. It's very nice here though. <clears throat> it doesn't like me moving my cameras around, does it? I hear another jet above me. There it is. It's going to be a bit of a right turn here, out over some lakes and stuff. Under the road there. Very nice. A 
every time. They would tell me uh, when I exited the air, do you fly airlines? I'm guessing that's to Vroom, not to me. I don't fly airlines very often. If you ask me, 2PH, I... Not much into the commercial stuff, at least not as often. I do have some of the stuff. Oh, did we get a little bit of a internet lull there? Wow, I am downloading something. What am I downloading? Well, I think we're going to have to either go up and over. Yeah, I think we'll go up and over this saddle here. It is certainly downloading some uh, detail. And okay, now I'm getting the stutters. Someone was getting closer to me as well. Evening, Bubba, morning, evening, whatever it is. I think it's morning. Yeah, it's morning. Long time no see. Welcome to um, Scotland, I guess. I think it's Scotland, yeah. Oh, we've got another touch. We might do a touch and go here. Uh, E.g. Actually, someone put in uh, flight plan. Exclamation mark flight plan. We'll just see what it is. E.g. P.E. Uh, Edinburgh. Yeah, uh, the Mark Loop. We will get to the Mark Loop. Yeah, we started off at Barra. We've headed up to the New Hebrides aircraft carriers. Uh, now we are at EGPE, which is somewhere up the top. I don't think it's, we're up at Edinburgh. Maybe. But we will head down towards uh, Wales. I think that's where um, the Mark Loop is. And we do get a chance to go around the Mark Loop. But we're taking our two seater. And I'm going to head that way. Taking our two-seater Hawker Hunter for a flight today. <clears throat> my drone won't even uh, take off in my backyard because the uh, I'm inside the no-fly zone there. There you go. Sorry, that question was rude. Yeah, I figured it was. That's what I said. Always uh, found fighters uh, with side-by-sides to be weird to fly, kind of feels uh, off-center, which of course, yeah, it is, yeah. GBZB1, hello there, mate. Flight plan, thank you, somebody put it in. I think we're going EGPE, which uh, is what I'm viewing now, so if I go like that, so we're actually going that direction to land. From what I can see, we're coming a little bit further we get in from the top of it. Maybe do a touch and go. Alright, it's going to ping the next airport. I don't even see this airport. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, the F-111 was a side-by-side -side too. Which is weird. I mean, I can understand things like bombers, airliners basically. Um, man, this thing floats. We're doing 160 knots, 170 knots still. Where did I get the flaps down to? Yeah, almost 90 degrees. Uh, where is my flaps indicator? Can't tell. Whoa. Matt! Thank you for the subscription, mate. Lightsaber gives me a bit of a jump scare. 
Now I'm landing an aircraft carrier cable from landing aircraft on an airport. I'm kind of coming in pretty slow, under 100 knots. On the centre line, I hope. It's hard to tell when you're sitting on the left side of the uh, cockpit. That's yeah, pretty good. And I think we'll keep going. Very nice. Hold altitude there until we need to climb. Um, did my fly plane not come up? I don't know if my bot's necessarily working today. Whoa! Oh yeah, I've got that new I Love VFR stuff. I probably should climb a little. That could have ended in disaster. Alright, I've got an Orbix. Uh, Orbix balloon here. What's this one? That's not the uh, Mark Loop over there. I'm a little bit too far from that. altitude there. Thank you. Um, let's try that. Pop your chute, yeah, but can I do it again? Like, I, I get it one time. Can I actually use it again? That would only be to stop. Let's try flight plane again. Uh, yeah, can't fly drones or kites around our area at all. We can't extend our roof in any way with an antenna, etc., because we're on the landing path and want to run away to our lovely airport. Bugger. Nope, I can't put the parachute back out. No, it'd be a one time offer, probably. Uh, that's my chute there. I'm not going to use it. But I am going to keep an eye on my fuel. Okay. Somebody might also want to keep an eye on the land here. I wanted to go down that water anyway. Ah, oh, it's a river course, fun with friends. I thought I actually turned that off. Maybe not. Well, I'm not going to do be able to do that at the moment because I'm in the wrong aircraft. But while we're here, we may as well have a bit of fun. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. What the heck are you supposed to do with that one? I don't know. I don't know if I've done this course. I might have to come and have a look at this some other day. Uh, I am not doing it next to the land there. I will smack into that mountain in this thing. Anybody else have the fun with friends? Pack installed. Oh, you're supposed to go through it that way. That's probably how you're supposed to do it. Oh, we just went through. Did we break them? No. I <laughs> should just stay in the middle. I'm going to smack into the mountain here somewhere. And then we'll be down. Alright, we do have an airport here as a... Oh, Aaron just spawned on it, did he? He did too, in an F-22. Shouldn't have any problem keeping up there. EGVZ. Um, so, flight plan's not working, so my bot is having trouble today. I don't think anything worked. Uh, 
not actually the box spoke but it's not going to necessarily put anything there I see power lines well, at least they've got balloons on them don't want to be coming in flat out down there no, I say my bot's not connecting, mm, which probably means Streamlabs, where I've got it uh, trying to connect to, is not uh, not logged in anymore. They log me out often. Uh, AP okay good oh, no, no okay uh, flight plan uh, do I even have the flight plan yeah, there we go there's the flight plan cool outer Hebrides ah that's what the O stands for outer Hebrides we just passed EGVZ VZ, okay. Now oh, you guys are in much faster aircraft than me. I'm going to get moving. I can see more power lines down there. Tell you what, it looks nice with the uh, harbour stuff on. My path does actually come down this way too. Which will allow me. Yeah, there we go. Probably will get fuel. Uh, what's our flight path? EGYS. Good look. Nope. E G I S is a waypoint. Hmm. <clears throat> Wood. Keep you over there. E G Y I S. These are all just tiny spots. We might go to Belfast and get it. I think we should be all right with that. So we're actually going to go to Ireland to get our fuel. Northern Ireland. I think that is. Yeah, so there's some more of those little towel things. Thanks Mr. Oz Flight Simmer for your video. Tell me the uh, benefits of putting uh, well, there's TJ, still trying to start the uh, <laughs> junkyard thing. We, we, we've almost done a full circle around you there, TJ, mate. Uh, bot died, yeah, hashtag bot died. Um, <clears throat> I turned it off and started again right at the beginning. It's still not picking up any of the instructions. I'll tell you what, this plane is quite loud. Let's try and put some balance on this. I do have music playing. Yeah. Oh, are we getting a few stutters on the internet? So, oh, Danger Bird's down nice and low. Oh, we can do, we can go lower as well. Oh, my autopilot is on. <clears throat> okay, off we go.
does look quite nice here. Very nice. Let's get a picture for the record books. Might also keep an eye on where we go. Alright, so from EGYS, which is. Oh, you know what? I actually have you. There we go. EGYS is Glen Sander Airstrip, which is that. That, that, that. <clears throat> yeah, that little bit of dirt. We're not landing there. Certainly not getting jet fuel for this thing. Alright, do we have a straight line down to... I know, what is EGIS? Not Chrome Airstrip. It's on an island. I don't think we're going to be able to land there either. Fuel is almost bingo. Okay, no, we will land there if we can make it. It's grass. Oops. I should have fueled up. I don't know if we have an air-to-air -air refueling in this. How low are we? Ha! Ah, Alright. I might actually just pump a bit more in there because we were just about to... Um, oh, what did you go centre there? We were about to actually hit the deck there on three gallons left. Ha! <laughs> <clears throat> Brett's great with his fuel management. Not. Oh, we put those external tanks back on. Oi! Poop. Now it's going to put the right wing drop tanks on. Oi! Oi, oi. Yeah, it still put it on the drop tank. How do I clear those? Released. Sorry, I'm in the water there now somewhere. Kept the, uh, the things on. Ah, well. Oh, you don't reset that. Okay. We are not resetting that. <laughs> Grass is fine. If I could have made it, yeah, I should have landed on that dirt and actually picked up something. Um, technically, we should have landed up uh, Edinburgh, where it was. Oh, look at that. We get stutters when one of those jets gets next to us. Who's... Is it the F-35? When it came close? Is it trying to pick something up? Don't know. Way to kill the immersion? I know. I could have crashed. And then we'd have to start again. Yeah. We can't all fly gliders. I don't need fuel. But uh, I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of didn't actually pick up fuel when I was supposed to. Didn't pick the fuel up when I was supposed to. That's, that seems a very common theme for me. Not trees, a tree, just one. Ah, 
nice area, not much to it. Obviously not very inhabited, I'm guessing it it's cold, covers in snow a lot maybe. I mean, the amount of, or maybe it's just bog or marsh, uh, the amount of uh, water and stuff, okay, there's a town. The amount of uh, water spots there and potential um, lack of trees makes me think it's probably a very high wind uh, area. Crash on bingo fuel might not have uh, killed the immersion though, the pilot on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Uh, we've got our next uh, waypoint. This is the grass airport that I was going to go to. Hang on. I wonder if we can... Yeah. Is that it? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was not much there. I don't, I don't know if I was going to land there or not. See if we can get any faster in this. Alright, we're doing point eight five mark. I wonder if we can get to point nine. Push this to 700 feet. To Belfast. Hmm. E-G-A-C. Is that Belfast? International? Belfast City. got our uh, angelic music. Well, we need a climb for that. Oop. Oh, we are just short of Mark 1. Oh, God, really? That's how fast this thing will go. Nice. TJ, mate, you still haven't got that junkyard off the ground? You're making me think I'm going to have difficulty uh, learning how to uh, make a video on it. I didn't turn my light on. I look very pale in my camera. It's just because of the amount of lighting I've got in front of me. Or lack thereof. Oh, did Icarus stop? Must have. It's probably going, I need fuel. Brett's not going to get it. I'm definitely going to get it. Alright, so we're heading down towards the top of Ireland here. Oh, that froze. Oh, for a second it actually stopped completely. Oh, it wants to. I don't know, we're back. Oh, no, we're getting a couple of, a couple of stutters there. Alright, what are we climbing through? We do the barrow, 16.7. We're on a, uh, what was it, 2,000 feet per minute climb, is that right? Yeah. Take it to 20 and then we'll stop. Glide our way back down. Look at, we are almost Mark 1. We're at our maximum speed by the looks of it. 0.9, whatever that is, 5 I guess. It looks like we're over it. I wonder what that means for the aircraft. Oh, 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 I did something there. I moved the mouse there. Changed my channels. Not using any of that anyway.
descending. Are we at a maximum altitude, are we? Well, that is that. Does this have a very low maximum altitude? Ah, oh, my airspeed. Maybe. I am descending. Hang on, hold altitude here, please. Holding it somewhere around the 15, 3, 15, 5. I tried to hold it at 17 or 18, but it didn't want to. Maybe I was pushing it too high to climb. Anyway, old bird, we should be able to do this uh, altitude no problem, you would think. The guys have got their mask on, have they? Yep, we good. It's actually a really well done aircraft. Yeah. You can't see it all because of my head's in the way. There we go. Plenty of time for crashing still, um, Mr. Pound. Oh, there's a little bit of a freeze there while we get back onto our flight plan. We're going to land down here in Ireland. It's pretty much right there. We actually uh, really pushed it fast. if we can break the sound barrier on a dive My mark meter doesn't go any faster. Oh, 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 no, we're actually freezing there. Freezing the game, what's happening there? No, mark meter does not go any further than uh, where it is now. It's like it's, it's hit the barrier. But my speed, airspeed is certainly going up. No, we are, we're not going to tell if we're doing more than Mark 1, unless I had like the outside uh, dials of speed, or oh, you're going to do a bit of a climb now, are you? Hello, Michael, mate, is back. Looks like a runway in front of me there. We might even have a break here, what do you reckon guys? Put that great big paddle down and slow us down. And then just drop the gear. Alright, paddle break up. Gear down. Hello Belfast. Am I landing on the right runway? Is there more than one here? No, that's the right one. Okay, good. Whoop. Oh, 
Ooh, that, that went down a long way with the flaps. Show that. It's like a short runway with a very long uh, set of lights coming in. It's almost like they're short in the runway here. I guess it's long enough for the type of aircraft that need to come here. Alright, two red, two white. Oh, we did. Too late now. No, a little left of the uh, centre line there. Oh, Danger Bird right behind me. He is on his way in. Oops, I missed the turn off. Let's take the next one. Uh, we'll go this way. A bad sore left arm. What have you been doing? I think we'll go and sit over under the tower. What do you reckon? Oh, American Airlines there. Hey, Mr. Canberra. Yes, he is Mr. Camber now. Alright, we'll take a, a bio break here. Okay, that fuel truck's gonna park there. I'll just keep going and go to another one then. Thanks, mate. Brakes and turn works quite well. I think we're parking in a commercial uh, parking spot here though. Not really suitable for this, but I will leave enough space to get back out. Pop the uh, canopy. See where these guys are going in. Um, I'm going to take a quick for a two or three minute bio break out of the bathroom. Uh, I just realized my camera's not on. Um, so I'm looking at it. I'll be right back.
No face camera today? Yeah, I turned it off when uh, we were flying over a beautiful area there to uh, have a look at. Now, do you see if I can turn that light back on? Wow, my chair is squeaky today. All right, there we go, a bit of, bit of face light. Let's do some modification stuff here. Let's put that there. Put it there. Put it in there. Put this board back there. And then I'm like, let me just put it over. Let's see your chat. Because I'm watching you. Yeah, there you go. I can hear you guys. Alright, cool. Now I can actually read it over there. It's just where I... Because I'm sure I'm up above. So up, up above the camera. Alright, Starbucks having a bit of fly around. Yeah, this is actually a really awesome aircraft. Um, adjustable mirrors. Actually, from my seating position, that's, that's probably much better. Ooh. It's like adjusting the mirror in the car so I can see what's behind me. Ooh, no, yep. Up. There. <laughs> All right, um, fuel. Wait, did we just go for four? I think we did. No, we're not going to be able to because I dropped my drop tanks. And I can't reset it. How do I reset that? I don't think I do without a restart. everything is actually full. Okay, now that's good. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, ready to eat mate? I like that blue and white one, it's good. I don't think I have a Hawker Hunter model. Where's that wing going? Actually, we probably came in with a tailwind. I might actually just take off right there. Okay, where's next? Uh, Belfast City. Too far, the Irish Sea. We've got a, a carrier group in the Irish Sea. I'm going to have a play with that. I don't know who else has got the carrier group in the Irish Sea. We'll soon find out. Belfast, why would you? Uh, 
for you guys. The shipping yard uh, frames, that look pretty cool. City, like um, in the sim, lots of suburbs stuff. So. I should actually put that mobile on mute before I get another one. All right, we are on our way. Sorry, Icarus, I um, I, I did the jump on you there. Um. Finally figured out how to start the scrapyard. There's a glitch with Magneto. There's a glitch with Magneto. Uh, as in they don't turn on. So you've been trying the whole time there. That's all the altitude there. Obviously I still have that on the climb. Yeah. 6-3. That'll do. see on face camera again. I had it on originally. I uh, turned it off when I was flying through some of the really nice areas. And I figured, you know what, we'll turn it off. And then I just forgot to put it back on. Alright, so we're going to fly. Hang on, I need a nav to turn there. Why did you not turn? Yeah, I've been trying for an hour. There's no magnetos in the plane. Uh, but if you have a honeycomb yoke, you still need to set the magnetos to both. Uh, I do have the honeycomb Bravo, but I'm not using it. But I do have uh, some magneto switches on. I think they're magnetos. I have to check that again. I think the magneto switches on my Hojas. Uh, so. We'll give those a try. Oh, my microphone has fallen down. I didn't even realise that. Hopefully you guys have been able to hear me okay. I must have bumped it and it actually fell down. So that probably actually now sounds much louder in my voice. Hmm. Alright, heading out to a Irish aircraft carrier group. No, a carrier group in the Irish Sea. It's not an Irish carrier group. And I'm seeing a point mark 8 or 400 knots. Is that right? Airspeed? Yeah, I guess that would be right. No, hang on. 300, 400, 450 knots. At mm, just short, shy of 9,000. Oh, this is 86. Hang on. Is that 8? No, that's 9. I just want to click over to 9, but it's not. Uh, this is on our way to the Welsh Carrier Group, or the Aircraft Carrier Group in the Wales, North Wales. 
and then we'll get into the Mark Loop and make our way over towards uh, what's our final airport? Is it Ladenburg or something? Hang on. Oh, I've got Marham, Connersby as well, and then E G U L, our final destination. I see some boats out here. Not much going on in the Irish Sea. Oh yeah, another one we just went over. I do love it when they actually show up like that. It adds that immersion. As opposed to me putting extra fuel in. <laughs> Alright, I see a carrier group. Oh, is my autopilot not coming up? Okay, there we go, thank you. You guys are probably like, wait, he sees what? See those ships in front of me there? Just above my tail? That's my carrier group. We might land on something other than a uh, British one if there's not another Queen Elizabeth class out here, because there is only technically two of them in the world. And if there's not another one here, I need that altitude. Thank you. 1500 feet? Wow, we really dived. Right, now they're all coming into the view. And we'll take a US one. It kind of looks like a US one right there. Might even be able to get a helicopter landing deck. One. All right, British one looks like it's out the front there. This looks like an American. Then it actually kind of looks like another helicopter landing deck one, although it's not quite as large. It could be a another Italian or. Doesn't look like the French carriers. Let's go and have a look. Yep, that's just number 69. Got here. Could be a Spanish? Italian? No. That's French, isn't it? Yeah, French bag. Okay. And then we got the British. So we've already done one on the Queen Elizabeth class. I oh, moved my camera too quick, didn't it? It's got a Chinook on it. All right, we'll take the American one at the end. Number 69, who's that? Is that Eisenhower? Sixty-eight uh, Enterprise, isn't it? Is Eisenhower the 69, uh, CVN 69? Seventies is Stennis, isn't it? I wonder if I can hold this straight. Long enough to look that up. Doubt it. Eisenhower, that's right, here we go, thank you. No, 
this way. Oh, we are, we are the wrong approach there. All right, we got to take a 90 degree first. And then we're going to take those 90 degree flaps and bring this in. And I am actually on the wrong angle here. Alright, let's try not to slam it into the uh, back of the aircraft carrier. That would be a bit embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as running out of fuel. Night TPH, this will show you how much detail is on these things. Alright, that was actually a nice one. Anybody know if I've got the second wire? I don't know how to fold my wings up either. Um, there's a fair bit of detail on here, uh, Mr. TPH. Now I also have the steam catapult launch guys. I don't know if these guys are going to get out of my way or not. I can't remember. I don't think he directs and stuff. I have a feeling we're going to run them over. Oh, he's gone inside. Maybe I should actually be on uh, that one there. Alright. Are you guys actually ready for this? Uh, you're in the way. I'm, I might have to take the other one. It looks cool. No, nah, stop it. We'll do it. Do it here. Have a quick look, though. Ike, here we go. Eisenhower. Do they have pop rivets? I don't know, but they have all the lights. These do light up at night, which is pretty cool. It's got a bit of rust on it. It's fairly well detailed for a flight sim. I mean, technically, we're just uh, meant to fly over them and have a look. All the you know aircraft carrier land, and that's it. That's pretty good. Dwight D. Eisenhower. There we go. I don't know whether that's meant to tell you which way the wind's going, or if it's something that you've got to be worried about hitting. Although technically, <clears throat> having a Seahawk helicopter on the back of a uh, aircraft carrier would make me worried about hitting it, but you shouldn't be that far over, I guess. So, yeah, I think it's still short of the shuttle. I wonder uh, if that uh, should trigger them to get out of the way. Uh, <clears throat> I've gone past the shuttle if that's what you're talking about, but I don't have the um, Correct I haven't set it up Well, oh, hang on. I do have the stuff for this. I'm going to go catapult We're on park brake. Yep. If I go ready to launch so I don't get out of the way. No, so I don't have the payware aircraft carrier. This is a freeware one. This has also got the touch and cloud uh, obviously crew and smoke or steam 
This is actually technically a steam catapult um, set up, so they're not going to get out of the way. They, they obviously are there to look like they're doing their stuff, but he needs to get down and... Yeah. Anyway, I am actually ready for launch. I'm sorry, these guys are going to be in the way. Maybe I should actually get over to the other one. Dark black thing near, near your nose. Oh, I am short of it. Oh, I thought it was the yellow one. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't actually notice that part. Oh, did a guy just fall off? The guy just fell off the edge. What the heck? Oh, I'm on that. That's why I have no control. See, a little hook should actually... I don't have the hook that comes down on the nose to get into that catapult. Alright. I'm sure this guy backed off so much that he fell off the edge. You watch. He's going for it and while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a ready for launch. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's backing off, he's backing off. He's, he's going to fall. Now the F-18 might be... Um, He's going! He's going! He's going to fall! Mate! Ah, he falls off! <laughs> oh, wait! Eh, he's still going! There we go! He's walking on... Jesus! Oh, no, he's gone. He's walking on the water. Alright. Let's do a launch from... Uh, this. You need... You guys... Sorry, I'm going to have to say you guys don't exist anymore. Alright. Thrust up and launch. Thank you. That's <laughs> pretty cool. Alright. Let's keep going down to uh, the Welsh uh, carrier group. I'm going to find another one. Jeebus! Oh no! He's walking on water! I'm guessing you guys don't have that one. Alright, we'll, we'll see if you guys got the Welsh one. Now, link is in the description for all these aircraft carriers uh, on those particular links. Sorry, yeah, in on the web pages. These are the links for the catapult crew there that were sitting there with their steam thing. And, and Jeebus himself. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. Alright, where are we at? We are at uh, 400 feet. I can handle that. I'm going from one aircraft carrier group to another. Irish Sea to Carrier North Wales. 58.99, so almost 59 nautical miles. Alright, then we've got to get our arrest of hook ready. Did we actually put that back up? We did, retract it, thank you. Can't get those Harley lights back on. No. You can turn them on before you actually start up. Ocean looks good. Got a bit of texture to it that actually is quite nice with that sunlight on it. I'm on live weather. Uh, I am on morning though, so eight uh, nine o two or eight o two UTC nine o three. Nice clear weather. Oh oh. Oh, what did I press? Nothing. Yeah, 
navy out there, I'm not navy, sorry, a um, cargo ship, yep. Oh, are we still full? No, we're not even full power. Bring that RPM back. Alright, how are we going everybody? 20 likes, thank you guys. 12 viewers. I've got a bunch of you guys trying to fly with me, probably going, man, I wish I'd downloaded those aircraft carriers before I started the stream. Um, my fault, I should have actually put in the announcements. I'd like to say thank you very much for Icarus uh, reminding me to put the flight plan in um, prior to the stream. I mean, I only just got that um, in, but had I also put in there that there were some aircraft carriers to land on, uh, you guys might have been able to download them and have them installed. My apologies there. Could potentially do this with other planes when they come out. Uh, there is a Phantom coming out uh, very soon, in a couple of weeks I believe. And uh, so the F4 Phantom, we might be able to do some carrier ops with that as well. Now this is around, what do we have? We had the uh, Outer Hebrides carrier group, Irish Sea, Welsh. There's another one before we finish today, which is on the uh, where, uh, east side. Where is it? The carrier Mar Marham group, which I'm going to visit. We could actually revisit this whole entire flight plan. Maybe not starting at uh, uh, Barrow. That's a bit hard on a F4, I'd imagine. But um, yeah, a bit of fun. We'll also get to probably go through the Mark Loop if I can uh, find it after EGFD. Um, chances are it'll have an Orbix balloon over it as well and we'll do at least one or two loops there in this. I don't think we're going to be doing it in Mark Speed. Well, considering we can't get to Mark Speed, we're not going to be doing it in Mark Speed. But we'll do our best. So well done model this. I just noticed it's got an air intake up the top there. It's got one on the other side, it does too. Okay, just for a little bit of extra air, is it? Hmm. Is that the same down the bottom? It does too. Okay. One or two? Yeah, no, two. Alright, so it's got a couple more air intakes around the. Uh, Turbine, I'm guessing. Well done. Well done. All the beauty really is on the inside though. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Danger, do not pull handle. I mean, these handles? I wonder if this ejects the canopy and then the seats go up, probably. Unlike the F111 where the whole entire uh, cockpit um, capsule ejects. I think I've frozen. Is that because I, I moved my mouse? No? Oh, it just looks, oh, it looks like we're frozen there because I couldn't see movement. But uh, no, no, we're still going. So in a F111, it'll be the entire cockpit uh, capsule ejects with both pilots. Right, this looks like the carrier group we're coming up to. I may have to go around. Looks like we've got a uh, poor supply ship, I think. Yeah, probably a supply ship there first. 
Now we could do also use these carriers for helicopter landing practice. Oh, there we go. Now we got uh, Elizabeth's class again, kind of hidden in here. Oh, that actually looks like that's it. Alright, I'll do a landing on that. We're going to have to come around this. Uh, this is a frigate. Come around the. Uh, it's my autopilot not on. Off. No, that's working. Oh, I'm just pulling. Jeez. Whoa. Oh, didn't like me trying to look back. There we go. Oh, there is some stuttering going on here. No, no, we're good. Okay. You down. Hook uh, down. Thank you. Oh, we're not going for that one. Okay, we don't go on an angle on these ones. We go directly in. Oh, we should be all the way down. No, we're not. Now we are. Nicholas is making his way in. I'm guessing you guys haven't got these ones either. Must be part of the pack too. It's a shame. Oh my god, this actually really floats. I think I could probably land it. I just noticed the mark meter actually does go to 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Mine got stuck on 0.95. Alright, Queen Elizabeth class carrier. I'm coming on an angle, that's not cool. Let's try and straighten it up at the last second. Oh, we are way off. That's not going to go well. Yes, it is. <laughs> awesome. OG Triple, hello. He's flying with us. F-22. Okay, this one probably looks more cardboard is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh. Guessing Icarus doesn't have this one. Now, I don't think they have catapults on these. No, you just got the ramp and you don't need them for Harriers or F-35Bs. But I don't have enough to, uh, enough thrust to take off from here, so... Let's see what we can do with this. Are we flaps one? Definitely take flaps one. Hey, we're up. All right, <laughs> let's get going. You guys haven't got these. Um, I've got links in the description though, so you can go and grab them. They have been delisted though from uh, 
at flyzen.to, but I've got a direct link to them, so you probably still can get them. Uh, I do think they're available on another site too. Are you going to get back on? Yep. PGFD, we're not landing there. Are we? Hang on. God, that's going to be close. Do I leave it? Do I leave it? I leave it? Yes. <laughs> oh, somebody got a little low. Mm-hmm. Let's not do it at the next place. E F E E G F D E G F D yes. Landbrach uh, Airport, whatever. The one you take off from uh, to get to um, the Mark Loop. So I'm going to give it a look. If I can remember where it is. Although I thought it was E God as well that we take off that. seems to be good. Yeah, that's what I said, E-God. But E-G-F-D is, uh, I think, where they actually fly down from, isn't it? E-God's further south, I believe. Although I couldn't find it on the map. Yep, there's the Orbix thing. Yeah, so this is the one you're flying in and out of, but I couldn't find E-God, because uh, E-God, I think, the memory is a little bit further down that way, but this is E-G-F-D. Alright, let's go do the uh, Mark Loop, shall we? It's, uh, whoops, what did that look at? It's 35. Uh, over there where the Orbix thing is. The balloon. You come around from the uh, north here, I'll do a, uh, a right hand sweep. And I think you can bring it down. River area there. Where are we? I think that's the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll give it a try. Maybe once or twice around. Egod might actually be further up. Oh, there's our first gate. Uh, this is the Orbix um, Fun with Friends. Now, I always get a stutter right here at the beginning. Maybe because I used to have a um, tent uh, camera guy mod thing that was poorly um, optimized. Right there, yeah. I'm going to try to load one of the camera guys from their uh, viewpoint. Now we're a fraction high there.
we're we doing Mach 0.7. Alright, bit quiet concentrating. I do know the path here, even without these now, with a bit of practice. Tight right here. Oh, I'm too tight there. Okay. Let's push it. A little faster, see if we can catch Icarus. Very nice area here. Oh yeah, we're going to catch Icarus, all right. Oh, there's a bit of stutters when you go outside, though, isn't there? Woohoo! I reckon uh, once around is probably enough. Oh my god, there's some stuttering going on here. A little less inside. A little tight right here. Oh, I just missed the box there. Now see if we freeze on the exit. Yeah. Still getting the stuttering on the exit. There is something there that uh, my sim doesn't like. I seem to always get this stutter on the exit. Alright, I'm going to go climb. So there's something down there that my sim doesn't like. I haven't been able to work out what it is. But very cool. Let's see if these guys are going to do it again. What we might do is we might just take it over the top of them. That's pretty cool. Let them go. There we go. Oh, look at them hooning through there. Way to go. Tight right, tight right. No, hang on. Is it left or right? I thought it was... I thought you were supposed to go up there. They've gone out. Oh no, it's actually up all the way up to there. Yes, that's it. And then out. Looks different from above. Nicholas is leading the way. Then tight left. And the hoon down the valley. Guys with the uh, fast planes like Danger Bird there, putting on his uh, max speed. F 22s realise that he's going for it, so he's going as well. They've, they've got the Mark II loop, haven't they? Oh, Icarus is climbing, and they're all climbing. <laughs> and they're out of here. Alright, we'll go for the balloon. Hello, Orbix Balloon. Thank you. Just as well, it's not hittable. All right. All right, let's make our way back over to the next uh, waypoint. Where are we as far as waypoints and flight plan? We are way back. All right, we're going to do a full loop around here again. Let's get the plane turned. Oh, look at the vortex is coming off the wings. My poor pilot would be like uh, 
squeezing those legs to try and keep the blood in the head. All right, let's get going. That was a bit of fun. All right, cool. Uh, didn't miss any chat. No. Everybody else was like, whoa, what's going around there? Cool. Now let's make our way to the other side of the UK to Newton Air Force Base, Connorsby, and then our final destinations of Ugal. What is Ugal? Ugal is uh, Leiden or something, I think. Sorry, Eagle. Yeah, Eagle Airport. Let's see what you come up with. Lake and Heath. That's the one. Lake and Heath. Home of the uh, F 35s, by the looks of it. And that's where they fly the F 15s out of as well. 48th Fighter Wing. And the 495th Fighter Squadron. Okay. give that a bit of a push. Cool. So the reason the balloons are there is, um, is the Orbix. Uh, fun with friends. It's a Mark Loop path obviously. A bit of fun. What we're going to do though is get back on our flight plan head out over, I don't remember where we head out over, actually, um, just south of Liverpool, Whoa. had a little bit of a stutter there, didn't it? Probably going to be a little flatter from here on the further out we go so we'll lose these mountains and we'll end up uh, in a flat area out there. I'll tell you what they're pretty good at farming here aren't they? Everything is farmland. Except a bit of forest through there. Looking at that fuel status. Do you know, there might be the ability to turn this off on and it will bring it back up. Hmm. Not in flight, it doesn't. Oh, but we did eject the uh, stations, the uh, bits that hold them on. All right, uh, where are we? Can I actually use this while in flight? Let's have a look. Might actually give me a proper ETE. Yeah, it does. 71 nautical miles. Very nice. Just south of the flight plan, that's right. Alright, there we go. Newton, Consby, Carrier, Marham. Hang on, is this in behind my head? It is. I can remember I put that in behind my head. No, I did. Ah, pressed the wrong button again. Which means I'm not going to get that 
back am I? Yes, I am. I've, I've had a previous, um, like I'm looking up there, camera's there. <clears throat> I had a previous extra screen down on, oh, like a tablet. Every time I press jump to another screen, it go, tries to go there. It doesn't exist. I haven't got it connected at the moment. Alright, so you guys should be able to see where we're flying now. Newton Air Force Base, Connersby Air Force Base. I'll use Newton as a, um, a waypoint. Connersby can too. We'll have a look, fly over and see what we can see. And then we'll get to the carrier Marham. I may do another touch and go landing there and then straight down to our final destination. Uh, and that will be the end of the stream. A bit of fun. Lots of dramatic music on, isn't there? Let's move you on to something else. Oh, this is like good for trucking music on my, uh, or a Red Dead Redemption shooter type uh, music. <laughs> Look at you guys having to turn as well. My plane keeps turning back and forth. How's the autopilot doing it? Not me. It's trying to stay connected on the flight plan. Where's Icarus going? He's a little bit further over to our left by the looks of it. You know what, he's probably actually closer on the flight plan. Alright. Yeah, so my plane goes a little bit one side to the other. So if I auto-correct that myself, it won't go too much the other way. Well, actually, you'll be able to hold it straighter. Yeah, there we go. No, it still wants to turn the other way. No, no, we're good. I'm holding you. We're good. Wow, that's, I'm actually fighting that autopilot wanting to go sideways. Probably because of my speed. Uh, <clears throat> Ground speed of 608 knots. I'm just short of Mark 1. We are burning the fuel up. I think we'll actually top up at uh, Newton Air Force Base. Uh, because sitting at this speed, we are uh, chewing the fuel. See that there? Oh look, you actually put your mouse over it. 122 pounds. Sorry, 152. 146 now. I love that. Put your mouse over it, it tells you. Sweet. It's still going back and forth. Alright, I think our airport's actually just up here. Turn you back on then. Well, we've got some cloud now. Twenty four nautical miles. And slow down. Stop rocking on me. There we go. Thank you. Let's put you down here. There we go. Um, the GTN 750 is actually a good thing to have in your toolbar up here. Uh, when you go external, it disappears. Internal, it's back there again. Uh, not only that, I can go to the flight plane, I can change some stuff. I actually do recommend that one. I 
probably will end up buying the uh, full thing so I can get the full weather and everything. Oh, now the music playing, isn't it? Oh, I have really slowed down. But I am going to get fuel here. Mr. Pound would be proud of me to actually get fuel correctly. A nuclear power plant over there. Wow, that shows up, doesn't it? We got eight cooling towers. Sheesh. It's all grass. Are you kidding? Newton Air Force Base is all grass? Is it a backup base or something? I'm not going to make it much further anyway, so... Grass it is. Don't know where it is. I will get below these clouds. I do have a question for you guys. Uh, I know everybody's a bit quiet at the moment. Um, what do everybody watch these streams on? PC, phone, tablet, TV, and with that, what resolution do you watch it in? That's my airport there. No, it's on the other side of the river. You only get it if you uh, have enough to get you there, yeah. Oh, it's looking at there. I don't want that. I want you to look at the airport. I see a flashing light. There's cranes down there too. Oh my god, really? That's it? Down there on those fields, is it? Yeah. But I, I don't I don't see it as a runway really. It just looks like fields to me. And there's a light tower there. Right, that's pointing directly at it. I don't even see the runway here. What the heck? Well, we're going down anyway. Whoa, it is not straight here. Is this some sort of grass emergency field or something? Oh, there's a towel there. Maybe they haven't actually put this one in. Anybody actually have this airport in their sim? I mean, we got a tower. We've got... Uh, the radar towel thing. It says there was a bunch of grass ones. PC Samsung 50 inch uh, 1080. Thank you. I'm, I'm thinking about going from the what I'm currently on 1080 um, 30 frames to either 2K or 4. 4 comes up as good. I'm going to be running it through a different machine. Um, We have a tower. 
And I'm guessing these are meant to be hangars or buildings, I don't know. But it is 100% grass with nothing actually uh, on it. But, how are we going for fuel? Can't do any of those, okay, so... Eight gallons left. I'm glad I made it. Uh, you know what, let's just put you in there, and I don't want any of there, or are there. No, none there. None? Why is it saying... Thank you. Oh wait, that's right wing. I want the right wing. I want none here. There we go, cool. Um, I don't see an airport here, but it says it's here. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore. It should be fun taking off. Now that they're giving me a belly full of fuel. Maybe it's meant to be this green line here. No, I don't think so. Oh, there are white markers there. I'm guessing I kind of landed fairly close to it. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, how did I get my uh, fuel tank? Oh, because yeah, I didn't uh, get rid of it. Um, love the ground effects there, Chris, mate. It looked awesome. I don't know what the deal is with that uh, supposed Air Force Base. I'm guessing they use it for uh, training purposes, emergency, um, the old Spitfire, grass strips. Uh, I don't know. Or the sim didn't put it in properly. Are you at? You're still descending. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to end up hitting one of these cool new tower things that I've got on. Oh, yeah, and you're going to miss the flight plan. Stu! Just pop in and say, have a good one. Mate, were you out on uh, Sons of Forest? I think you were, weren't you? With uh, Gammy Wombat. There he is. Hello, legend. I think I remember them talking about uh, having stew stew. And if stew died, they're going to have stew stew. <laughs> How was your Sons of Forest uh, stream there, Mr. Gaming Wombat? Hopefully it went all well. Had some fun. Got some very Greek or, or uh, Italian music. And Mr. Gammy Wombat, 11 months, mate, 11 months goes quick, doesn't it? I have to do my next milestone on your stream, I'm not sure what's up. Because I'm running away from those guys, they're probably like, where the heck's he going? And what are we doing it at? 400 feet. Woohoo! Um, so much for uh, clear skies. I guess there's uh, plenty of cloud on this side of the uh, island and none over near Ireland. Uh, yes, stew legs too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what I remember them talking about, having stew legs too. Stew. We finally built a uh, glider launch bridge. Ah, is that over the waterfall thing? So you just run straight off and down you go or, or up on the hill next to you guys? I didn't actually watch uh, all of it, obviously. Uh, it came for a fly. Oh, we are so getting started. See, by all not happy, uh, have stew stew. 
<laughs> oh, poor Stu, Stu. Uh, don't die near them. They'll uh, consume your, your leftovers. One of those towers and stuff there. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can clear off those uh, station things. Nope. Okay. Now we can't uneject the jettison release thing. That doesn't uh, come back off. So we dropped our stores on fusing. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds dangerous. Uh, and that's him off. Over the gorge uh, took ages to build uh, the centre tower uh, to support it. I saw a centre tower that you were building. I wonder what that was. Oh, hang on. Connorsby. Hello. See ya. I was going to uh, do a touch and go there, but uh, I'm too busy gas bagging. Bye. Let's go and play with the... Uh, aircraft carrier out group out here. Mm, let's get my arrest book ready. Mm, some of this is a lighter green than others. I wonder if that's part of the um Oh, 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 don't like looking at that. Whoa, are we getting near Cambridge? Because I always had trouble there. It hasn't been a while. I know TPH was in watching both streams because I talked about doing the same thing. Uh, I will sit there and watch Ga Garwin Grimm's streams as well as Ozflight Simmer's streams. And sometimes. Uh, especially on Friday and if my brother was off my brother would be streaming as well and you know I had to mute some of them or turn the volumes down on some of them but uh, I'd be chatting on multiple we're doing 0.8 ma we are swinging from side to side here though the robot doesn't quite uh, like doing a straight line Few, uh, stutters as well. Oh, there was a spike back there on the internet. I wonder if that was uh, part of it. All right, we've got a few um, wind turbines out here. Oh my god, we've got a lot of wind turbines out here. Well, I wonder if they go up uh, higher than 400 feet. Hmm. 500 feet. We're actually at 500. Okay. We do our barrow and make sure we are. Do you know what? That's going to be pretty close. Yeah, I reckon they go higher than 500 feet. But luckily, I'm charting a course in between them, except that one there. Hey, autopilot. Back to the left. There we go. Thank you. Woohoo! Got wind? Eat beans. <laughs> Actually, they love their beans in the UK. Um, have to share the love. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Glad I just... Uh, glad I just don't follow 10 or 15... Um, have you streamed this? Of you streaming, you mean? Yeah, um, I, I kind of follow a lot. Um, yes, I watch Oz Flight Simmers, I watch uh, Gowans, I watch Gammy Wombats, um, I even watch uh, Devil Virus. Uh, so I watch Devil Virus at the same time watching Gammy Wombat, and then Spec Bites streams at the same time then, and it's really hard to watch three or four. Well, it's hard to listen to all of them at the same time. Alright, we've got 14.6 nautical miles. 
we're going to have to chart our way through another set of uh, wind turbines, I think. Autopilot, mate, you, you keep keep worrying me about going left and right here. I'm worried you're going to hit one. Got my hand on the uh, stick there just to make sure. Oh, he's actually going to turn. And we're going to miss that one, but we might end up hitting that one at the end. No, turning back, turning back. Yes. That was pretty close. Oh, there's Danger Bird. All right, they're all catching up. All right, there's another aircraft carrier group out here. I can just see it now. Slow down. Oh, my music is a bit loud now. Right now. Oh, we're loading in this aircraft carrier group really slowly. Look at that, got a stutter. Yeah, a lot of us now stream at the same time. Uh, not much we can uh, do these days. Too many of us. Look, we're part of a community. Um, and we all stream when we are capable of streaming. or It's convenient for us. Um, I, I have contemplated stopping Sunday morning streams. Uh, Sunday morning streams for me, though, is good for the, you guys in the US Saturday or even UK because it's a Saturday stream Do you know what I'm gonna go straight in on this one tail hook down right down with the uh, 90 degrees of oh my god this uh, flaps that's good looks like we've got a couple of other aircraft carriers out there kind of like air brakes Um, but you know what, Gammy, mate, you, you just do what you do. Uh, if you're enjoying it and it works for you, um, you know, yes, there's some audience that come over from other streams and there's some that don't. Um, some of the people that watch my stuff don't uh, watch some of the others. Uh, some do. And it's not like we own any of the people who watch uh, our stuff. Uh, if they are interested in watching our stuff, awesome. And if they're over it or they're not into all the stuff, because I know there's a bunch of people not into Valheim, um, or even the trucking sims. I like doing it. I actually really enjoy it. Oh, I'm coming in sideways here again. Oh, there's a helicopter at the end on this one. All right, we are down. Thank you. RO8. Another Elizabeth class. Has anybody else got this one? All right, flaps up. We might uh, just line up a takeoff here. We're going to park at the uh, 400 metre. It says two. I'm going to have a quick look around these. Alright, let's park you there. I'm going to ready the uh, takeoff, but we'll. They're chasing each other. Uh, I guess they were ready for me to fall in the drink and were ready to take off, but uh, that looks pretty cool. Is it moving? No, we're not. What are they called? Is that the Lynx? It's not, is it? And a Chinook. <clears throat> Wait, what are these ones called now? I got some of the. I got a couple of these. They look kind of look like the Pumas, but I don't think they are. Um, and it's just another one. All right, let's go and have a look at what else we got here. Since this is the last carrier group we're going to look at. No flag. 
I'm guessing it's British as well. Supply ship. Well done. Oh, there's a helicopter pad for those who want to... Uh, you know what? If you're in a Harrier or a um, F-35B, that would actually be pretty cool. At the end of the day, people watch what they want. That's right, absolutely. Um, when they want, can't be all of them, can't watch everything, uh, and you streamers can't expect everyone to watch. No, that's right, absolutely not. You know what, if you want to watch, awesome. If you don't, okay. I, I try to be a bit more flexible with my times, just to allow uh, different content at different times. My trucking stuff's in the afternoon or evening now. Um, I have no trucking in the morning. I don't think there was too many people who were watching my stuff in the mornings who was interested. Um, also, people are interested in different things. Hardly anybody's interested in... The, well, when I say hardly anybody. Not a lot of people are interested in the jets. Okay, that's it. That's the whole carrier group. Um, but I like doing it, and I'll, I'll do them occasionally. Like I was like Simmons said the other day, somebody's got to do it. That's right. Um, but I don't do a lot of commercial, I do a lot of GA. Different things for different people. Alright, let's get ready for takeoff. Max power, RPM is going up. Hey, I reckon that uh, might have been a little rough on the uh, launch there. Go and have a look at one of these uh, uh, oil rigs. I reckon they'll have um, helicopter pads on them too. Um, on your way home from the eye doctor. All oh, right, is that just a checkup or uh, something new, Michael? Yeah, as far as viewing, look, it's a big world out there. Um, there's room for everybody to stream, and everybody can stream at the same time if they want. Like, I watch Wes, I watch just um, some Aussie Gamer, but I can't watch them all at the same time. If I'm, well, especially I can't watch them while I'm streaming. Um, it's very difficult. Does anybody else have these, or is this a, a download mod that I put in? I know I have put in some oil rig stuff. But I don't know if they put some in the sim as well. Ooh, it's got a helicopter pad on it. So I think I asked Wes one day to, uh, you know, landing challenge. Go and land on an oil rig. Because there's a picture on the background. And he's like, I don't have any oil rigs. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. Papa says, uh, but please appreciate your variety and uh, timing. I drop in when I can. Yeah, there you go. Um, and that's it. You drop in when you can, if you want to. There is no expectation for any of you guys, so obviously I um, I mix them up. I do two. I actually stream six times a week, believe it or not. Six. Wait, hang on. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and two on Thursday. Yeah, so I have Fridays and Saturdays off. Fridays often is uh, Microsoft Flight Sim uh, new content drop day. And um, I like to have a look at what's there. And uh, Saturdays I spend time with my wife. And then Sundays I stream with you guys. Uh, whoever wants to come and join me. Normally Flight Sim. Monday's normally Flight Sim. Tuesdays have moved from Flight Sim to Valheim. Because I've got into multiplaying with that. And I'm actually really enjoying it. And that's more for me. Um, I share it with you guys. Because uh, some people are into it. And uh, it's a completely different audience for me though. But I like it. I'm enjoying it. And so I'm sharing what I'm enjoying. Um, and the trucking, I like it. It's good casual and there's there's community and, and conversation that goes on there. Big Jacko does it as well. And he's got an audience that watches. And they don't always watch the same time. So it's, it's all good. And if we dual stream or triple stream, and even better. Um, and I've got Thursday morning Valheim again because I have one in the evening and one in the morning just to mix it up, 
and then some evening trucking to make sure that Michael from Canberra can get in and join because he's been Mr. Social and going out to, to his over 55s club. So, and learning stuff. So, you know, you move around. Um, I don't bother watching uh, what I don't find interesting. Valheim and Sons of Forest and SnowRunner thingos are meant for me. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, if I see you online, I'll pop in and say hi and send a like. Uh, but I don't stay. Look, I do the same. Um, I watch Spec Bites and I watch um, Reaps Gaming. Reaps is my brother. They play Dinkum. Dinkum is a Aussie-based... Um, what can you call it? An Animal Crossing crossover type Australian themed type game. It's not for me. I wouldn't I wouldn't pay, um, play it even if someone got it gave it to me for free. It's not my game, but I will definitely jump in and say get eight of them and press like and say hi and I spend five minutes and, and that's it. I support them because I reckon they're great uh, great streamers and great people. But I don't stay there. And that's the same with Sons and Forest. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it. There's an oil rig add-on in the marketplace. Right, well this one's a freeware oil rig um, add-on, I believe. It, it gave me the North Sea, and I think there was another place as well. And I'm just wondering if this is part of it, because I've got more up around, what is it, Norway, I think? Norway, Sweden, Finland type areas up in amongst there. But yeah, um, it's the same with the planes and flight sims. Some gravitate to some, while others gravitate to others. Yeah, like if people are interested interested in commercial um, airlines, oh, I got a bit of a spike, didn't it? Um, Oz Flight Sim does that XP72, which I watch occasionally, and he's been doing some racing as well. I've watched more of his racing because I'm interested in that, but he does lots of commercial flights. Um, is it Blue Gaming? Or is it into the Blue Gaming? Hang on, one of those. XP72 and Blue, I think. They, they, they do a lot together. Um, I've watched a bit of their stuff. But it's commercial airline stuff, and I'll, I'll stay for a little while, but I'm not going to watch the whole entire thing. A lot of Ozflight stuff I am, because I'm, I'm interested in what the community is talking about and what's coming out. Um, but yeah. It's different things for different people. Some people are like, I'm not interested in commercial, I want GA. Some people are like, I don't want GA, I want commercial um, only. So you, you spread it around, spread the love, that's right. Um, yeah, I might fly something that uh, you don't uh, like, but I love it, vice versa, that's right, yeah. Uh, perhaps watch a flight I am not interested in flying. I'll jump in uh, if I'm interested and I'll block out time to make sure that I'm there if I'm uh, really interested in it. Yeah, look, Mr. Pound, if, if someone decided they're going to do a glider streaming, I would imagine, well, it won't be me because I'm not very good at it, but um, if someone did, you'd be like, that's, that's my interest. I'm going to get time and I'm going to try and actually join that if it works well for you. Um... Whenever any of the streamers are flying commercial airlines, I just jump in on my Honda jet. I did that too. I think you and I have done that a few times, CPHI. Um, but our Honda jets don't keep up. Or was it now? It was the Vision that didn't keep up. No, even the Honda jet didn't keep up on some of them. But yeah. Just waiting for the Avro Vulcan. Oh, mate. Welcome. Um, Hopophobic. I think I got your name right. Yes. I should get my FSX one out. And I've, I've flown it over here. I've got videos of me flying it in the Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, I converted it. But you can't press anything inside. So it would be nice to have like a cockpit where you can, you know, full on press all the things you need to. 20, 25 nautical miles. I might actually close you now. Thank you. Um, yeah, the Vulcan. Oh, mate. It's a very niche aircraft again, though, um, like the Concorde. Not many people get the Concorde, um, but it would be cool. Same here, I haven't spent enough time to learn the basics of, uh, to get in an airliner flying properly. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, I'm still learning. I have done the 146 a few times where I've actually, ooh, power lines, 
hang on, I'm at 500 feet. I might just keep an eye out. Um, and I enjoy it, but I'm not good at it. I love the GA and I love the Jets. Um, but yes, I need more practice. And the, my plan is, in the future, I might go inside. In the future, I um, will have a Airbus controller and I'm gonna buy a four throttle Airbus controller. So, Oz Flight Simmer, I won his competition. I know I've won a lot of them. That's because I enter a lot of them. So I've actually lost a lot less, a lot, lot more than I've won. But I won his um, controller. I'm going to implement it into my cockpit where I can actually swap it over uh, and have the Airbus thing there. And I will probably fly like the A380. Um, and I'll learn how to fly it. I mean, I loved flying the um, A330. That was pretty cool. Oh, I'm getting stutters now. I often get stutters around this area of the UK. But, uh, there's something here. Um, been trying to convert the FSX a just flight model uh, over. However, uh, so far no luck. I haven't done the just flight one. I did. Uh, you have to look on my channel and type in Vulcan. I did a showcase and I linked, yeah, there we go, I, uh, so number 153, uh, Sim Outhouse, uh, the Alpha Avro Vulcan B2 uh, under FSX. I can't link directly to the web page, but I, sorry, to the, um, the file page, but I linked to their web ha uh, website. And then you've got to go looking for, I'm not sure, page 38 or something. Um, oh, sign up for the account required to download and then try the link. That's what I put. That one worked. And I've actually been able to fix some of the white textures that uh, were not meant to be white. Um, but look, it won't be long and there'll be one out there. Uh, you'll have to pay for it but it'll be a proper working model which is going to be awesome all right lake and heath here we come Oop, cloud cover cloud covers at 2000 by the looks of it All right, let's see where the flags are pointing on this one. Mate, um, Bubba, yes, I probably will. I'd like to learn how to fly. No, I'd like to learn how to enter the, uh, is it FMC or whatever the Airbus and or slash um, Boeing, uh, flight plan thing that you've got to enter in like I, I can I learned how to do it on the um, uh, BAE 146 but then I didn't I stopped practicing and I, I'm like I've forgotten again and I'll have to run through it again I also have a seven inch tablet that I've downloaded the um, sim uh, dashboard and it has a built-in um, Airbus FMC, which is pretty cool. I think it's FMC, is that a, or PFD? Whatever the, um, the pad that you put your, uh, or MFD? I don't know, different names for different <laughs> ones. Well, look at all the uh, bombers here. What is this one? That's E-Gun. But well, we're not landing at E-Gun, are we? This is another military base. That looks like it's got uh, A400s. Add it. Now I've lost my airport. Oh, I've gone too far. But yeah, I need to um, I need to learn how to do that properly. Um, all right, I'm going to take some flaps on this one. I've learned uh, that once Shane or Big Jacko or whoever starts pushing back there. Pushing back, 
the airliner that uh, when I take off in a Honda Jet, it's usually uh, arrive a minute or so ahead of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think when we did that New Zealand one, I know you and I were in the Honda Jet, we were racing ahead. They still beat us because we, we left it too late. Um, we're going to join Fozzie. I will absolutely join Fozzie. I was saying that uh, in last night's stream. If he's going to start streaming, I want to learn from him. Um, for serious long haul this weekend. Oh, 11 6 this weekend. Um, do you know what? 11 6. What day is that? Like, what? what is that Saturday or Sunday? Because my wife's talking about going for a hike. It's long weekend down here. I, I might just, uh, I might just join that. Oh God, I thought I had my gear up for a second. That went down so low. Um, stream I'll watch. I don't uh, want the 100% coverage airline. I want 40% uh, to get going. So you mean somebody who sims uh, airliners 40% of the time. Quite surprising how well the game runs on the uh, Steam Deck. Currently running at medium graphics of 40 frames a second. Actually, I think the sim actually runs quite well on lower graphics. Um, we're going to go for a rundown and taxi over here to the right and pass all the F-15s. I want to check out how well this base looks at the moment. I think I still have a mod for this. Uh, somebody made one and gave it to me. Which means I have the... What were they called? 45th Air Group or 145th? Where all the F-15s are at Blake and Heath. Um, now I'm a little bit behind on the... Uh, conversation there. MCDU, I don't know. <laughs> FMGC, oh my god, it's a different name for everything. Alright, whatever it is. Um, no, nah, it will be in Discord Sunday, Sunday, okay. I, I'm not worried about streaming online. I, I'm, I'm Discord works fine for me. Wow, look at all the F-15s. That's cool. That's on this side. More F-15s. And I'm off the side of the road. Oh, I like how this looks. So nobody else has these F-15s here, do they? This is definitely a DLC I've got. I'm sure it is. I'm going to have to find a parking spot. That looks like a parking spot. Oh! You don't think... Uh I mind me parking with the big boys, do you? Right, I'm going to go around to the right. And nose it in next to the gear there. We should be doing F-15 uh, operations from here. This is awesome. There we go. Danger Bird's got it right. Oh! What is that stuff on the ground there? Oh, we are not going over that in a hurry. Is this for a wash? I think it's for a wash or something, is it? Don't know. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to learn more of that stuff. So... Um, when did you say that was? Uh, 11 6. Uh, who's Discord? I'm guessing Oz Flights. So I see you guys in um, often there doing some uh, flights. Uh, Pam says, No, I mean 40% of the technique. Oh, yeah, okay. Give me uh, flying. I don't need uh, to know the intricacies of aircon systems, etc. Uh, no. Um. Engines off 
add a fuel, thank you. Where's my this? Other way. It's off, thank you. Alright, and Alright, battery's off as well. Wow, that really kills it, doesn't it? Hang on. Sorry, who um who lowered my canopy? There we go, that's what I wanted. Alright. Love this plane. It's actually oh look at the danger bird. He sits sits in this area quite well with all his but he's an Israeli F-15. Meh. Okay, not quite so much. But we've got all the LNs. Look at them all in different numbers. 165, 166. Well done. Um, yeah, look, Discord, I might actually uh, look at uh, doing that as well. Um, okay, check out Big Jacko's Gaming Community Flight Plan. Oh, it's going to be in Big Jacko's, is it? Uh, Discord or an F-35? Wait, what? Um, what else I miss? Uh, flight like program autopilot stuff and be able to start cold and dark uh, and get to destination. Yeah, I, I would like the whole thing um, so that I can actually uh, program. I, I've worked out the other stuff. You can do checklists for the other stuff. Punching in all the details and I don't have my other tablet here at the moment. It's back in the house. Um, but it's a 7 inch one so it's... Um, narrow and long and you can just punch in all the numbers on that i wouldn't mind doing that it is on big jackos all right thanks here chris mate for joining thank you everybody else for joining let's go and have a look around this awesome air force base i think it's part partly dlc you can buy and partly dlc i got uh given by somebody saying hey we're we're, we're testing this uh, extra dlc would you be interested yeah so uh, we got uh, the Lake and Heath F-15 fighter wing, and yes, they've all got different numbers on them. Wow. Somebody went to a bit of work, didn't they? Well, I guess if you're trying to make it accurate, and there's a whole bunch more as well. Awesome. All right. I'm actually going to uh, leave it here. I'd like to say thank you very much for everybody for coming along. Um, Mr. Pound, Mr. TPH, Bubba, um, welcome, Hopeblophobic, I think I got your name right. Go check out my um, Vulcan. Wait, did I actually get rid of it? Video, because I've got a link in there. Let me actually paste it in uh, chat for you. You can go and check that one out. I actually do have a link. All right, it doesn't press enter, gotta press send. All right, I have a um, link in there to the website where the Vulcan that I have converted that does work in this uh, is. Also, uh, who else am I missing? Uh, obviously, Icarus, <coughs> Polaris Shine, hi <laughs> Brett, and all just log in and wish you all the best uh, for your test. Take care. Yeah, no streaming until uh, Thursday. At the moment, I'm off to have a, well, it is a test. It's a camera up the and down up all that um, to, to check to find out why I'm uh, running out of iron in my blood um, to see if there's something wrong. So I'm going to be uh, in hospital tomorrow and I will be back in the afternoon, but I'm not streaming until I'm feeling a little more, uh, probably less glo uh, groggy. Let's start by bringing it in. Did Johnny just land now? Um, catch you all later. Yep, thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, and I will see you in uh, probably the next one will be Valheim stream. Unless I do a truck and stream on Wednesday afternoon because I'm feeling better. You just sit down and you drive. It's a bit of a chat. It's pretty good. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.
Yeah, Mr. Pound. Put it in the mouth first before the other one. I don't want the other way around. Could brainwash the whole country. 